Welcome back, everybody, to Sports People Hawaii. Of course, longtime UH football fans remember the mascot, Billy the Warrior. He had four sons. All of them went on to play Division I football. Now the youngest of those four, Braden, is suiting up, making the roster with the San Diego Chargers. At 6'3", 300 pounds, most people wouldn't overlook Braden Pejoko, but that's not how he sees himself. You know, being an underdog is kind of what I pride myself in. Um, I think an underdog kind of sums up my life, uh, not just how I came to the NFL, but just kind of how I grew up. You know, I kind of grew up a, a chunky kid, um, kind of hit puberty late, so, you know, I was, I was one of those, like, lanky freshmen that didn't have any muscle and didn't have any really athletic ability. I kind of had athletic abilities, but it didn't really hit me till like my junior, senior year in high school. That's when I really kind of sprouted into the true player I am today. A true player that's made an impressive showing since he first stepped onto the field, grinding out a spot playing for Farrington High School, then going on to Texas Tech and ultimately LSU before finally reaching the pinnacle for all players. A spot in the NFL, marking his third year with the LA Chargers in 2022 by making the cut for the 53-man roster. The defensive tackle quickly sharing the news with his family. His father's reaction, the first that came to mind. I've been cut twice and uh, it's, um, it, it's, We, we just, he, he was happy. Um, my mom left me a voicemail. She was uh, tearing up a little bit. Um, my fiance cried a little bit too this morning. Um, I pulled in and um, my brother called me and um, I texted him and I, and I said, um, we gonna be good and, and it's funny, he, he read it, he said, man, you know, you'll be good, you know, some team will pick you up. I said, no, 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 we, we're going to be good. He, he read it wrong, um, but he called me, and, and he was crying, and, and, and he was emotional, and it's, it's just been one of those rides where, you know, I've always had to battle from the bottom up. I've had to grind for everything I got, but I wouldn't want it any other way. And his parents say that's the way it's always been. We're going to take it to a whole new level. He wanted more. He see the success of his brothers, and he keep telling me, Dad, let's go. You know, Braden was the guy who always waking me up to go, and I give it to him. He, he worked hard. He put the work, and he know behind that that they have a family that's supporting him, that's believing in him. I'm just so grateful to God that he has given us the opportunities uh, to be on this journey uh, with our son, Braden. You know, be man um, you know, it's, it hadn't been easy. Um, it's been a lot of work and dedication and sacrifice and commitment. For Braden and his family, life has broken down into three things, faith, family, and football. But you could say there's one more thing in the family, showmanship. It's funny, a lot of people mention my dad whenever I'm in Hawaii. You know, they talk about Billy the Warrior, Billy Falco, and, and hey, you Billy son. And, and you know, to me, it, it shows that that last name carried a lot of weight, and I take a lot of pride in carrying that weight. While Billy once wowed the crowds at Aloha Stadium, Braden is now stepping into the spotlight in his own way. You know, we first did the hockey at LSU, um, and you know, seeing my parents, seeing my brothers partake in it, it was awesome because I not only got to show my culture to everybody, but everybody got to experience a little bit of Hawaii and Polynesian culture. Um, I was super blessed to not only do what I do growing up, um, but teach my teammates as well. And that's really what opened my eyes about the haka and, and teaching them, you know, not just a war dance that looked cool and poking your tongue out and chanting Polynesian words, but they understood the meaning of it. They understood the, the, the spiritual aspect of what the haka meant to our ancestors, to our Polynesian people, 
And now they, they learned it, you know, they're teaching their families about it, the next generations to come. And it makes me happy because more people are learning and appreciating the Polynesian culture one day at a time. But that's not the only lesson Braden is hoping to pass along, especially to the younger people back home that he's hoping now to inspire. My biggest advice is to never stop dreaming. You know, wherever you are, they'll find you. If you're a player, if you're a hard worker, if you're somebody who never quits, you'll always find your way into doing what you want to do in life. And it just so happens that you want to play football and you want to play in the professional leagues, don't quit, just keep going. Because at the end of the day, you know, there's going to be guys that are, that are going to give up on you. There's going to be people that are going to doubt you. Um, wherever you go, whatever level you are in life, high school, college, and even in the pros to this day, you know, you still make it, you still start on game day, and people still tell you you're not good enough. Keep going, just keep pushing, and, uh, and love what you do. I cannot express how important it is to love what you do.